You don't have to be a smoker to get addicted to cigarettes. A recent Canadian study shows that people exposed to secondhand smoke show signs of nicotine addiction. I took a closer look at the study. If you live in a city, you've probably seen smokers line the streets outside buildings. Even if you aren't one of them, new evidence shows that you may still be at risk for a nicotine addiction. A Canadian study released by the Centre de Formation Médicale de Nouveau-Brunswick at the Université de Moncton and the Université de Sherbrooke has found that 5% of non-smoking children who have been exposed to cigarette smoke show symptoms of addiction, including cravings and the temptation to smoke. Okay, I, I think secondhand smoke presents some sort of danger. Um, I mean, it's like, it's a highly addictive thing, and I think especially for kids. Mathieu Belanger, the lead author of the study, says that even if this seems like a small number, it's a considerable percentage, given that these children have never even had a cigarette. In an interview with the Quartier Libre, the independent student-run newspaper at the Université de Montréal, he says that although these people aren't condemned to being smokers, the risk is still higher. While governments are beginning to acknowledge the dangers of cigarette smoke, even smokers understand there's a threat. All my friends were doing it and it didn't seem like a big deal at the time. I mean, like with any addiction, it kind of sneaks up on you. Yeah. And so you figure that you're kind of in control of the habit and you can just have one, you know, to look cool. And then soon it turned into a thing where um, I was smoking more and more and then it turned into something that I ended up needing. I think it is because my whole family smokes and I grew up around smokers and I smoke now. I just grew up around it and I was used to it and the smoke never really bothered me. And now that I don't live at home and I'm not around smoke, I just I started up smoking. Well, I, I had to force myself to become addicted to it probably okay. because, uh, because I thought it was really cool. And, and I don't think it's cool anymore. but. Uh, um, and I definitely don't condone smoking for anybody, but, uh, yeah. In Quebec, there is already a law banning tobacco use in enclosed public places, and Canada Health requires warnings on all cigarette packaging. In Massachusetts, workplaces must be smoke-free, including the banning of designated smoking areas. The American Cancer Society reports that 35 percent, or 21 million children, live in homes with smokers. About 50 to 75 percent of children in the U.S. have detectable levels of the breakdown product of nicotine in their blood. Until more information is discovered about the effects of secondhand smoke, the best thing one can do is to simply stop smoking according to the Quartier Libre. It's the difficult choice, but it's the best thing a parent can do for a child. Reporting for Inside Boston, I'm Grant Mukai. According to the Massachusetts Tobacco Control Program, nearly 1,000 Massachusetts residents die each year from secondhand smoke exposure. Thank God I don't smoke. It definitely makes me rethink lighting up.